Hello everyone, welcome to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In this video, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. First let's learn how to download the editor. Go to the official website of Blockman Editor. Find the download button in the upper right corner of the page. Click to download the installation package. Double click the package to start the installation. When the installation is complete, click the icon to launch the editor. After launching the editor, you need to log in to your Blockman account first. If you don't have an account, you can register on the official website. There are three templates ready for you to choose from, including Voxel Grassland, Parker Templates, and Grassland. In this tutorial, we choose to introduce the Grassland template. Feel free to give other templates a try. The editor is comprised of six views, including Scene Editor, Top Menu Bar, Game Components, Game Resources, Assets, Properties. If you accidentally close a view, you can access menu option in the upper left corner, you click the view you've just closed to open it again. Next, we're going to briefly introduce the above views with demonstration. Starting with the game component. We can design our game scene by adding various components and game components. Note that the game components are separated into two different types, block and terrain part. As implied by the name, one refers to block components, and the other includes parts and terrain components. Click on part and game components. At this point, we can see the shapes and textures to choose from. Now we drag a cube part into the scene window. Then, you should find that the property view has changed. All the boxes in the property view control the properties of the cube. By changing the value of the properties, we can modify the block part. For example, we can resize it. Of course, we can also adjust the position, orientation, and size of the cube in the scene by moving, rotating, scaling and other options in the top menu bar. Not only the property view is different, the game resource view has also changed. A new part has appeared in the game resource view. This stands for the cube in the scene. All object in the game scene will be listed in the game resources view. We can change the name of an object to distinguish it from the others. When there are too many objects in the game scene, we can quickly locate the objects we need through the game resources view. As for the asset management view, models, textures, sound effects, UI, particles and other game resources we've applied are displayed here. Above is a brief introduction to the six views of the editor. Here's an example of how to build a good game scene. In edit mode, move your mouse into the scene window. We can use the left button to select an object in the scene. Hold down the right button and move the mouse left and right to control the viewing angle. W, A, S, T keys control the viewing angle to move back and forth, left and right. Q lowers the viewing angle, while E raises the angle. When we select an object, we can press F to focus. Next, let's run and take a look at this game scene. Before running the game, let's adjust the location of the player's spawn point in the scene. Click the game settings button in the upper right corner of the editor. Altogether, five setting options are supported. Basic, Team, Cameras, Events and Scripts, and Coop Shop. In basic settings, we can change coordinates of spawn point to adjust where the player spawns. Click the Run button in the upper right corner to launch the game client and server. Under Running Mode, 
W, A, as these still control the player to move back and forth, left and right, and the left and right buttons of the mouse controls the angle of the player's view. That's it, thank you all for watching. We hope this video helps. If you want to know more about our editor, comment below or post topic on our official forum. See you in the next video.